Hey, Google Workspace Admins. I recently heard a question about uh, exporting all the organizational units from Workspace or Cloud Identity uh, in, uh, in a programmatic way, which is like uh, quick and easy. So uh, I could have recommended, uh, if you look at my screen here, if we say directory API, uh, if we go to reference, and if it's about you know, for example, if you're trying to get users uh, list, then you can simply put your details here and, uh, you know, you can authenticate and you will get the response right here so you can quickly see it from here. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not possible with Organets. If, if you go to Organets list, it doesn't give you anything here. So now you end up with uh, a few options, uh, especially if you need to do it programmatically. That's what the request is about. Uh, one is to you know uh, just directly leverage the API, which will need you to go via the OAuth uh, uh, route, and it may take uh, more time, uh, or to you know uh, use any tool which may or may not cost uh, a few uh, dollars to you. So I think the quickest way to do that and the easiest maybe is to use uh, Google App Script. So in this video, I'll quickly show you how you can. Uh, fetch the list of your org units uh, within uh, just a few minutes so I will say sheets.new okay let me maybe log in first okay and then uh, this is our sheet so let's call our sheet list of org units okay and then go to extensions go to app script and uh, under this video i'll put the script that i'm writing here but th this is just for your reference you want to keep watching this video so let's do org units uh, list okay and uh, because we need to call admin directory uh, api so let's under services click on admin SDK and add that service. It may take a few seconds to appear it here so we can start using it. Come on, admin directory API. Okay, it's here. Now let's call our function uh, export uh, org units. Okay, and first let's say, okay, let's get all the org units first. Uh, so organets list okay and customer ID string okay so we can use uh, my customer as a reference to our customer ID because we are authenticated and then uh, we can add optional arguments so if we go back to list uh, organets here we see customer ID we provided organet path we need to get uh, everything under root so we will skip this but we see type which says whether to return all suborganizational units or just the immediate children. Let's click on that and it seems the default is immediate children only but we need all of them. So let's add this as an uh, optional argument here. So uh, let's say type, okay, all, okay, so that's there and then now we have got a few things now ideally in case if you're a very large organization and you you have lots and lots of organizational units in hundreds then you may uh, leverage a page token i think that's what uh, we get but just to give this quick reference because usually there are very less number of organizational units so i'll simply call organizational units uh, themselves and then we got the array, so let's uh, go inside the array and perform some function on each of the, let's say, argonet. Okay, so what do we need here? I think now we need to put the argonet details that we need uh, into an array, a file array here, uh, where we will be storing our information. So uh, let's say, what do we need? So we need the org unit name okay what else we will take maybe org unit id and then uh, what else do we need we may go for 
और गियोनेट गियोनेट पेवेंट और मे बी पेवेंट और गियोनेट पैथ एंड ऑल्सो आई थिंक वी शुड गेट पेवेंट और गियोनेट आई डी वॉर एल्स दैट इज एट यू कैन गेट मोर इफ रिक्वायर्ड एंड नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट पुटिंग द डिटेल्स इन दिस एर आई सो हेयर लेट्स से फाइल अवे डॉट पुश ओके एंड लेट्स पुश और गियोनेट डॉट नेम वट्स द सेकेंड वन और गियोनेट आई डी सो लेट्स एट दैट और गियोनेट ID and then we have parent organet path so let's do parent organet path and then last what do we have here uh, parent organet ID okay so parent organet ID okay so that is it now uh, let's just log to make sure that we are getting what we need okay save it okay let's run that review and allow okay okay good so we are getting the information that we needed now let's write that back to our sheet okay so for that let's get our sheet first so let's say sheet uh, spreadsheet dot get active and let's get sheet by name and what's the sheet's name it's a uh, sheet one with the capital s okay and now instead of writing it to array i'm logging it here sheet dot uh, get range and then let's say we will write it to first row first column number of rows will be file away dot length and then finally number of columns would be file array okay so we got the array now let's set its values to our file array okay so file array save it run it okay give the permissions because now we added sheets api here click allow go back to our sheet and that's this is what we got so we have our data here and uh, okay it looks good i think this is what we needed maybe i think it adds this in front of all the ids so let's remove that too and keep this to compare to make sure we are not missing anything so one two three okay so uh, 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 let's do here and uh, let's slice uh, it and same for here let's slice it okay save it run it this time the this is gone and just to compare okay okay that's fine so i think this is it uh, i'll put the script under this video so essentially what we did we just wrote a quick uh, uh, app script and beautify javascript okay Okay, save it. Okay, let's run that once again. Okay, this is where we are. So I'll put the code, uh, and uh, this is how uh, you can get a uh, list of uh, organets uh, within Google Sheet by just copying and pasting a few uh, lines of code. So I hope uh, it may help, especially in case if uh, this is your use case at a given time. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, don't hesitate to put that under this video, and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you.